In this demonstration, I'll give you a brief tour of the Genie widget, which is new in Workforce Central for version 8. The Genie widget provides quick and convenient access to all your genies. Now, in previous versions of Workforce Central, you would access genies through Navigator single link widgets or through menus that were arranged on the various tabs in the classic interface. And you can have as many as two genie widgets in a workspace, and you can have as many genies in each genie widget as you can access. And as you can see, the main part of the genie doesn't look much different from previous versions of the genie. But you perform tasks by using this row of buttons across the top in conjunction with the context selector. Now let's take a closer look at the functions you can access via the buttons. In the top left corner, the drop-down list shows all of the genies you can access. Right now we're looking at the IS summary genie, but you can select any genie from the drop-down list and go directly to that genie. In the upper right corner is the context selector. Here you select the pay period and the group of employees to display. Right now we're set to current pay period, all home, but we can change it by clicking the down arrow, selecting a different time period if we'd like, and selecting a different hyperfind and then click Apply to change or close to back out without changing. So what's new and different about the Genie's widget is this row of buttons in the top that allow you to perform all the tasks that are relevant to the Genie. Select All Rows is a toggle button. Click it once to select all the rows or click it again to deselect all the rows. Column selection is a really handy feature when you have a very full genie and you need to gain screen real estate while working in the genie. For example, let's say you don't really need the employee group and home phone columns. Well, I can open the column selection, deselect those columns, and the columns have disappeared and I can open it back up again and reselect them if I want them to reappear. The filter option when enabled presents you with a field in the name column so that you can type a name or part of a name and it will filter out the list of employees so you can quickly find that employee. Um, this also works with some other columns for example the assigned manager, the employee group, and when you're done with filtering, you can just click Filter to toggle that back off again. You can also manipulate the view of the data in the Genie in a few interesting ways. You can sort by ascending and descending order, just like you always could. But now, you also have the option to group by column. So let's suppose I want to group employees by home account. I'll click the drop-down arrow for home account and select group by this column. And now all of the employees have been grouped by that column. I can further subgroup the data if I want. For example, I want to group according to the assigned manager within each of those group. So I select the drop-down for assigned manager, select group by this column, and now everybody is further grouped. So within each home account, now they're organized by assigned manager. This is really useful when you have a long list of employees and you want to see all the members of a specific grouping. And I'm going to remove those groupings by clicking the X on these groupings shown at the top. And we're back to having no groupings. The next group of buttons are for performing various types of actions on the Genie data. First we have people actions. These are all the actions you can perform in the People Editor. You select one or more employees, select an item off the drop-down, and then you're taken to the People Editor to make the changes. We won't actually make any of these changes in the People Editor, so I'm not going to select anything off the menu right now. Next are the timekeeping actions. In this drop-down list, you have all the timekeeping actions that have always been available in Genies. You can add a punch, delete a punch, and so forth. If you select an item with an employee highlighted, a dialog will open that allows you to complete that task. Next is Accruals Actions. 
and there are approval actions, which should look familiar. In schedule actions, you can perform just about any schedule-related task on one or more employees, from adding or replacing a shift, adding pay codes, adding and deleting patterns, and so on. In the right side of the Genie's widget, we have the Refresh button for refreshing the data that appears in the Genie to make sure it's the most recently available data. And we have the Share button so that you can either print the information in this Genie or export it to an Excel or CSV format spreadsheet. Finally, in the far right, we have the Go To Control feature. Now, when you have one or more employees highlighted, you can click the Go To Control feature to go to a different location in Workforce Central, another widget or workspace that you have in your navigator. And it will carry that employee and your context with you into this new widget so that you can continue to perform tasks on that same person for the same time or same group of people for the same time. So now you've seen all the key new features of the Genie widget and should be able to perform any necessary tasks in that widget. And this concludes the demonstration of the Genie widget.